We appreciate you staying with us. Every Thursday afternoon, we bring you stories making headlines across Racine County in partnership with the team at the Racine County Eye. And today we are joined by the owner of the online publication, Denise Lockwood. Denise, we appreciate you taking the time to join us again today. I want to get started with a heartwarming story of an eight year old boy from Mount Pleasant who is not letting his disability prevent him from enjoying some fun in the sun. Can you tell us a little bit about Colton Stapleman and what he's doing? Absolutely. Colton Stapleman is an eight year old boy from Mount Pleasant and he isn't letting his disability stop him from soaking up the sun. He uses what's called a Moby mat, which is a non slip mat that allows wheelchair users to navigate those sandy beaches and one has been installed at the North Beach in Racine and he's telling his story to encourage others to use it as well. Yeah, and it's important to recognize that July is Disability Pride Month, which the Stapleman family just learned about. How is Racine's accessibility making a difference in the community there? Sure, like, are you talking about the inclusive bean? Yeah, well, before we talk about that, uh, yeah. I know we talked a little bit about uh, this eight year old. So what they are doing exactly at the beach there. Things so like they, they put in this mat that, that it's called the Moby mat. Basically, it basically allows people like Colton to get down to the beach and, and enjoy the water right at the waterfront. So a lot of times these uh, these these wheelchairs won't be able to navigate the sandy beaches. So that's what this mat does is literally makes a pathway for him to get to the get to the water. Well, here you go, Denise, right on cue there. I know you went to the bean. A new coffee shop is coming to Racine and will help create right. job opportunities for those with disabilities through its unique employment model. Can you talk to us now about the inclusive bean, which was started by a local couple there, right? One that works in special education. Correct. So the inclusive bean is, is going to be a coffee shop and it doesn't open actually until 2023, but this is a nonprofit that will really create opportunities for those people who have disabilities uh, through its unique employment model. So they'd be training uh, people to to really be in a work environment and those and people who are really passionate about the this this initiative can actually donate to the project by visiting uh, the Racine County Eye and clicking on the donation button in our story about the inclusive bean. And did you mention where it will be located and even when people can start applying? So they can apply. It, it'll open in 2023. Mm -hmm. And basically what it's going to do is it's on, on Northwestern Avenue in Racine. Um, it's going to be in the in the Bell City shops. Um, so that's going to be opening. They don't have a specific date, but they're they're looking for donations now to really start ramping up uh, this this initiative. And Denise, this one's a fun one for you guys. Although we're in the Midwest, it's safe to say everyone loves a good barbecue, right? In the Racine County Eye is looking for some nominations to find the best of the best barbecue. How can people submit their picks and what are you guys looking for exactly? So growing up on a farm, I I love barbecue and I'm not sure if, it, if everybody does, but what we're doing is we're we're seeking nominations for the best barbecue spots in Racine County. And what that means is people can vote, uh, nominate first, then we'll have a voting period. But right now they can nominate who has the best sauce, who has the best brisket and of course ribs. Um, people can visit RacineCountyEye.com and uh, they can go ahead and start nominating now and then next week we'll start the voting process. Oh, that sounds good, Denise. Can you save me a little plate? I would love to be there. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Denise Lockwood with the Racine County Eye. It's great to have you with us again this week. We appreciate your time. Well, hey, if you'd like to follow along with the news across Racine County, all you have to do is go to RacineCountyEye.com.